good afternoon. I'm in the Cheviot uh, Hills behind us. You'll probably see it. Um, I'm going up. See that little thing there? I'm going up to there. I've been up there before. It's called Housie Crag. Um, it's about f half an hour um, trek up there. We've got some um, other crags over there. Can't remember the name of them at the minute. Uh, yeah, the TV it's beyond there. It's like parallel with that one. But anyway, enough waffling. Um, it's pretty late on the afternoon. It's four o'clock now, um, and I've got uh, up there to go. So by the time I get up there, it's going to be dark. I'm basically um, just out here field testing my new sleeping bag. It's a Corinthium Defense Six. Um, I'll put all the specs in that um, at a later date or do a separate video for it so I don't want to waffle. I'm just here to test it out. Um, it's not really cold enough. It's a, it goes down to minus 40. It's got comfort rating of minus 18 and an extreme minus 40. Um, I reckon it's going to be about, with the wind, probably about minus 2 up there tonight. So. Not, not the coldest, so it'll still test me bag, but uh, enough talking, start hiking. looks closer than it does on the camera but there's still a lot of dead ground in between me and that so although it looks that kind of close to me it's probably about twice the distance because the uh, ground I kind of see um, the sun's gone down so by the time I'm up there it's going to be dark and I've got a this pack on it's probably only about 10 15 key say about 15 like but just gotta keep pushing on just, just keep cracking on have a little rest now and again and uh, you'll get there it's not a race I might just see it when I get to the top it's kind of boring footage really in it I've seen a bit. I shouldn't have had those two cheeseburgers. Bad idea. Let me do a hike. of a slog like, it's a bit unfit, I need to get some more hills and I think. Um, it's going to get dark pretty soon, the sun is set, so I'm just going to crack on get set up. Hopefully the tent won't blow away in the wind. 
because I won't be weighing it down on my body weight this time. I've used a uh, DPM Army of Shoe Tarp as uh, the ground sheet. I've got an inflatable. Uh, I haven't used this for months, like I thought it was leaking, but it wasn't. Um, I just didn't screw the uh, didn't screw that on tight enough at the time, so I've retested it and it's fine. So that's inside the Fort X booby bag there, bog standard army issue, uh, good bit of kit. And I'm gonna put this sleeping bag inside it. Like I said earlier, it's got a, a comfort rating of minus 18 and an extreme rating of minus 40. Um, I've gone overboard light, but I'm never going to be cold in a bag like this, am I? I said that about me um, Snug Pack Softy Elite 4. It's still good. The, you've got a Corinthia Defence 4 sleeping bag, and if you double that up with their jungle bag, it boosts it up to a sleeping bag like this. But I thought um, I'll just buy this anyway. Probably make some food. I just hope I can uh, repack it as, as good as it is packed now. <laughs> Who loves a new sleeping bag? Eh? Kind of beat it, man. Especially bad boys like this. Oh yes. <laughs> Uh, I'll pack it up properly tomorrow. Let's get it unpacked. Well, they're, they're an Austrian company. I can't find any um, people who've uh, reviewed these, like English people who've done them. There's there's a lad who I'm subscribed to where uh, he's got the Defence 4 and he gives that a little um, kind of semi review uh, a few years back. But that's the only thing I can find on uh, Corinthia. English wise, would have been an Austrian company. It's all like German reviews and that, and there's no subtitles. <laughs> no. This bag is sick. I'm never going to wash this. Like, I've gotten it. Um, sorry, I forgot to show you. So, uh, I forgot to show you this. Basically, it's um, a Dutch Army um, cold weather uh, sleeping bag liner. But them, them Dutch bags were made by a Spanish company um, and they co basically copied the Corinthia. So, anything, um, w any accessories regarding the, the Dutch um, extreme weather. I think it'll probably go with the Corinthia, you know, you could, you could pay about 60 quid for one of theirs, but, or you can pay like 8 quid for one of these, and the, the, they look exactly the same, um, and at the end of the day, they're just sleeping bag liners, all you're doing is keeping your bag clean, aren't you? So it doesn't matter what liner you use really, but the Dutch ones work with the Corinthias. Right, let's... Uh, roll it out and get this liner in there lovely oh that zips mint that zips amazing I'm gonna do a, um, a review of it when I get back home and combine it with uh, this video you know just just little snippets of bits of both but I that's that's why I've come out just to test this bag not much of a test to be fair with it only being like minus one or two but you know still nippy and if I roast in this which I probably will then that's a result in it man that's a result baby Everything about this bag's quality. Feels, feels lovely. Get this 
liner inside the neck. Get your liner inside. I'm not going to pay about clicking it onto the, the buttons and all that. I'm just going to get it in. Uh, if you want to come up to the Chevy, it's, it's a canny little... Um, you got to be reasonably fit, I guess. Um, or just take your time when you're climbing up. You know? It took me about... I thought it would take us about 40 minutes, but I got up there in 22 minutes. Um, wasn't as hard as uh, I thought it was, you know what I mean? The last time I was... I must have been... Uh, must have struggled a bit the last time. Do the pole or something to, to push it out all the way at the bottom. that sorted to the best of the best of my ability I'll sort it out properly uh, some other time but for now this will just take the edge off there's the sleep bag liner there it's you've got all these kind of things all these here you tie them on to some these things here So like I say, you can use that. You don't have to get the crinthier one. Save yourself about 50 quid and get one of these. Dutch Extreme Weather uh, sleeping bag liners. Exactly the same as the other ones. Right, yeah, that's sorted. Now it's probably time to, um, I think I'm gonna have a cup of tea. A cup of tea and then see what's happening after that. Right, there you go. My bag uh, all done. And there's my little board there. There's still a little bit of sunlight. I think while I'm um, farting about, I could use a little time lapse of, uh, of that beautiful scenery outside. Tent on floor way tonight. Um, pretty, pretty windy indeed. Should have brought me a um, fly sheet, but never mind. <coughs> so I'm all settled really now. It's well and truly dark outside. I'm going to give it a couple hours and I'm going to see if I can catch some stars on my digital camera. I'm going to make something to eat. And um, chill out. So as you can see, it's pretty windy. I'm going to make some food. I don't know what I'm going to have yet. Because um, I couldn't find any gas on the way here. I should have gotten some in my local town, but I didn't. I've got a small amount of gas left. Enough, I think, to cook one meal. If I'm lucky, a cup of coffee as well, so... Fingers
Yeah, let's see if this uh, pitiful amount of gas I've got left will um, cook something. I've got these sandwiches, so if all else fails, uh, I'll have a, a warm coffee and then I'll have to have a cold meal later on. But I'm hopeful. I think we've got enough gas. I kind of tell you what I'm saying because I'm listening to music, but yeah. Turn that off. Yeah. I'm hoping the tent will um, not get blown away like. I don't think it should. If this is the strongest it's got, we're good. Well, have I got enough gas? Come on. Right, I haven't, I've left my cup in the van, so I'm going to have to drink uh, this coffee out the, out the pan. Who cares? Get enough water in there to get the coffee on. Oh, yeah, that'll do. I think we're good, you know. I think we'll get a meal out of this and a coffee. I knew I was low on gas, but I kind of knew I'd be all right, to be fair, like, but um, it's better to be safe than sorry. It's always good to be prepared. Um, don't think, ah, it's going to be all right, because nine times out of ten it won't be, but on this occasion it is. It's all good. I had a feeling it would be anyway, so we're going to have that. I think I'm going to roll some tissue paper up and put it in my ears tonight because uh, mm -hmm. the wind on your tent, it's not as relaxing as rain on your tent. It's like the polar opposite really. I've seen, I've seen guys on YouTube go home because of the wind on the tent. I kind of blame them like, you know what I mean, but when I'm out, I'm out. It's only the odd, I have had the odd occasion where I've went home, but that's not due to any adverse conditions on out. Probably Netflix calling me or something, or, or a pizza, <laughs> home comforts. But I, you don't appreciate those home comforts until you do stuff like this, you know. Um, like oh no I couldn't do that it's freezing or oh the wind just just get out and do it and surprise yourself you know what I mean move up a level and that's what life's about isn't it progressing and just learning and getting new things done that you didn't think you could do in the first place but let me tell you you can do anything you want Six, and it's pitch black. <laughs> um, ten past six. I'm just listening to some tunes on the radio. Um, I think it's going to be an early night, so I kind of see myself like, sitting here for the next six hours. Like, it's pretty windy, cold. Um, so it's not really a chill outside kind of night, you know what I mean? You'll probably hear the tent and let's see if we can see some of the smoke. It's that windy, it's blown away. Anyway, um, uh, it's going to be an early night early start 
Yeah, we're having a good time. It's mint. I'll take a few star shots later on and make something to eat and just enjoy this sleeping bag. It's pretty toasty in it already. Um, aye. I've been sitting here for about a couple of hours now and it's just brutal on the tent and I don't think I'll get any sleep because I haven't got any earplugs. Um, so rather than go home, I'm going to go back down into the valley, pack up here and uh, get in the van. Why not? Um, but I, uh, there's absolutely no point stopping up here um, unless I want to have a sleepless night. So uh, I'm not deaf. Um, no disrespect to the deaf people, but I'm not doing that. Way. So yeah, I'm not going to get much sleep at all um, up here. Sorry, no biggie. I'll just pack up and go and uh, sleep in the van down in the valley. Yeah. I'll do that in a minute when I can be bothered. But safe to say this bag, while I'm truly, uh, I'm impressed with it. Like, um, I was out, I was out the bag for about two minutes before to relieve, uh, get a piss, and I felt the bag inside, and it was like still warm. It like re, like retained all the heat. Didn't let nothing out. I think that's the beauty of these bags. Once they're warm, stay warm. Imagine about 30 people surrounding your bed when you're trying to sleep. Like rattling cardboard boxes and scrumpling like paper and stuff and making tons of racket. That's what it's like like now if I was to sleep up here tonight. So any point when I've got a nice comfortable place down in the valley to get, you know what I mean? Um, it's not that I'm, it's too rough or unpleasant up here, far from it. It's just too loud and noisy. Um, next time I come up here, to avoid this happening again, I'm just going to um, come up in my bivvy, and just bivvy camp up here, you know, on a night that's not forecast for rain. That's the answer, like. About 45 minutes um, in total, so bugged out, got down, and I've basically just sorted myself out in here. I, I didn't do now that I just folded it in half and walked down with it. I'm not going to put the heater on because uh, I want to test this bag. And it is cold as you can see. Now compare the sound of this, yeah? To the sound of the hills on my tent before. Polar opposite.
Uh, good morning. Oh, it's um, it's just gone nine a.m. I got to sleep about two. Um, and this sleeping bag, oh, it's very very toasty and warm in it. Mint. Um, not one, not one little bit of chill in it all night. Um, and it was cold last night, like I'd say, but minus one or two. Um. Not the coldest to test this bag out, but it's performed better than the rest of my bags. Uh, zero chill, and um, I was in my t-shirt and the bag as well, no socks on. So there you go. Go, right, get some coffee on. Good morning. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to have any porridge or not, maybe not. I think um, I'm just going to get off and get some food when I get home. Some eggs and bacon and that. <clears throat> I'm just going to sit and enjoy this, take my time, and then have a nice drive uh, back then. Hi, right, last night, <clears throat> I went up there, up to the crags, um, to test me sleeping bag I was there about two hours two and a half hours um, I must have left about half eight no hang on I was up there longer than that but never mind I was up there about two or three hours anyway um, it was pretty cold uh, there was a bite in the wind so that one made it colder I tested the bag I was in it for about an hour or something um, and I started warming up inside it, like, like an oven basically, like, but nice, wasn't, uh, I wasn't, like, boiling and out. It was good, it was comfortable. Put the wind on that tent, my God. Um, if it wasn't so dark, I could have found a, a better spot, you know, like, covered by the rocks or whatever. But the one I could find, which I usually go to, um, was just proper exposed. The, the wind was practically blown. Well, if I wasn't in my tent, it would have blown it away. Um, so I thought, do I sit in my sleeping bag for the rest of the night? Uh, or do I go pack up and come back down here uh, into the van? It's a beauty of having a van. Um, if I didn't have it, I probably might have stuck it out, but I wouldn't have gotten any sleep. Uh, so I thought I'd just come down and get in the van test the bag out you passed the test but to be fair it wasn't it's not cold enough probably needs to be about minus 10 to test this bag properly um you might get that up in the hills uh if it's snowing or something we'll see it's safe to say it's gonna get a lot a lot colder uh tests but for now it's brilliant I'll show you it in depth, a bit more depth when I get back home. I'll make a separate video for it in on case anyone's interested in getting one. Because there's not much footage on these bags at all. Um, well, there is, but they're all Austrian and German and stuff. And there's no subtitles in them. I think there's one Norwegian one out there, which is English speaking. But doesn't really go. That doesn't really go into depth either. And the guy who's testing it, well, it's snowing, but he's only in it for about five minutes. Do you know what I mean? It's not like a a field test, as it were. Plus, he had loads of gear on, so it's not really a, an accurate test in my eyes. Like you need to field test this in really cold conditions, and that's the only way you're gonna um, show your viewers that it works. You know. Well, I've tried, but like I say, it wasn't cold enough. But as far as warmth goes, compared to the other sleeping bags, well, this retains heat. I mean, I could put my hand in here now and I've been out the bag 10 minutes and it would still be warm. Okay. Chaps, um, I 
so tough. So guys and gals, it's been another um, good night up here in Southport Valley um, in the Cheviot Hills, near the Cheviot Hills, near the Scottish border. <coughs> Um, but anyway, I it's been a good night. Thanks for watching. Thanks for um, sticking with us. I appreciate all you um, watching my videos. Brilliant. My next um, video, I'm going to be doing a hot tent camp, I think. I'll get my Paul Slabu out. And I've got tons of, um, tons of logs, so I think I'll utilise them on my next camp somewhere. Maybe do a forest camp. Um, maybe a little bit of bush craft. Yeah, um, so the test I came out to do with the sleeping bags passed, very toasty in the bag, I couldn't recommend them more, um, I've seen them in action in the minus 20 um, in videos but they're all in there, but I've been an Austrian company so I thought I would do a review myself, but anyway, thanks for watching guys, until the next time.